It's worked on some new uh, recording equipment, which also includes new equipment and hardware for running models locally, very specifically, is why I bought this new hardware. And so buying the new hardware and being able to run models locally, the very first thing that I wanted to do was give Llama control of my computer, because why not, right? So uh, I went through and I've tested it out, and uh, I've given llama via olama complete control of my computer and then so now i'm going to demonstrate exactly how to do that and then give you all of the instructions the step by step every single step that i've taken in case you don't know all of the steps here so let's go through uh the very first thing that i needed to do was to create the actual automation script itself so this is olama word automation uh, dot pi and it's a python script uh, and then so essentially I create this Python script and then I save it in Notepad in this instance as olama underscore word underscore automation dot pi. And then saving it as dot pi, we'll save it as a Python file. And then I'll leave a, a, a link to be able to download uh, this code uh, in the description of this video. So what you want to do is the same thing, right? Like you want to create this file, save it onto, in this instant, that instance, I have it saved to my docs, document folder. And then you're going to want to tell Olama where this folder is because it's going to execute this, right? And then so... From here, it's very straightforward. We do have to uh, pip install uh, this package as well. So uh, pywin auto um, and then this uh, py auto uh, GUI as well. Uh, and then also we need to pip install time and an OS. So uh, very first thing up front, if you don't have Python installed on your computer, you want to do that up front, right? Um, so very first thing is in your terminal, uh, like in this instance, I'm running Windows 11, so Windows PowerShell, you go through and then you'll be able to tell uh, whether or not you have Python installed, because if you run Python code, it'll error out. And then so you can go to the official Python website, download Python if you don't have it. Uh, when you do the download and then the installation options, there's options that you want to check to ensure that you're also installing pip uh, and that you're also installing it locally. Uh, and then so you want to check those two options. Like it's it's a don't just click like next as you go through the install process of uh, Python, right? Uh, or else you'll miss not you won't install pip properly if you do that. So we want Python installed, and then we want to have, uh, once we have Python installed, we create our file here, right? So then this is the file name. Uh, and then so uh, in this instance, we just, we have our file. And then this file is essentially what it's doing is it's loading along, and then it's saying, please open Microsoft Word and type the following in the document. Hello, computer, it's nice to meet you. And then we're having it automate Word, right? So <laughs> automate the action for Word, uh, and then exactly that, and then save the document and close the document, right? So that's exactly what's going to happen is it's going to open Word, it's going to type this out, and then it's going to close the document. Well, first of all, it's going to say that it can't do this. Uh, for whatever reason, it's going to say, uh, I can't do like this command uh, that I'm about to do for you. <laughs> uh, and then uh, like, I don't know why, but uh, it's going to like, that's what's going to happen. And then so we'll say, okay, whatever. Uh, but then it's going to do exactly what we want, right? So uh, I have, oh, sorry, I'm trying to copy. Yes, that's exactly what I want that. And then so I have the file here. You can see it here on my desktop this uh, edit me llama. And then so I'm just going to hit execute and play here on the file. And then my word is I don't have word set up. So it's going to be like janky as far as the like it's going to ask me for licensing and I don't want to pay for the licensing and things like that. Right. So here it is It's saying that I can't do it. However, it can simulate an action for me. I can't do this. Blah, blah, blah. No. Oh, well, this is just what it would look like. No, I'm not actually going to do anything. Oh, but here's word. It's opening. <laughs> uh, and then no thanks. Hello, computer. It is nice to meet you. I'm not touching anything. Boom, there it is. <laughs> awesome. Cool. And then it closes it and saves it. Uh, and then if we open it, there it is. 
Yay! <laughs> all typed out by Llama. I didn't talk about any of this. So, super cool, right? Uh, I just gave Llama complete access, and I could give it access to further things, right? Simply and, and super easy. Uh, and it doesn't even know that it has access. That's the crazy thing, right? Uh, and then, but yeah, it can do whatever on my computer. And then, so I'm definitely going to have some fun with this, uh, play around with this, and uh, be building out some more local AI agents and making more videos on local AI agents very specifically. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.